In this video, we're gonna talk about the term market. When trading begins, we usually say that we are trading in the markets. When we talk about markets, we can refer to the collection of financial instruments like stocks, bonds, or crypto, or like what we're gonna do in this video, we can talk about a market for a specific financial instrument. We could choose a tech stock like Intel, Cisco, or Amazon. Let's just go ahead and use Litecoin for this discussion. We talked about order books in the last video, and we still have our example order book here. If you didn't watch that video, go get comfortable with that one before proceeding with this one. To focus this discussion, I've brought up two wiki pages for the definition of a market. We have one that is going to be the economics based definition of a market. That's that first tab we see. Then we have the second one is going to be a financial market. This is the finance definition of a market. I want to take a look at both of these and just try to dig in and see exactly what we can get out of both of these definitions. So from an economics perspective, they lead off by telling us that a market is one of the many varieties of systems whereby parties engage in exchange. Now, notice I went ahead and omitted a lot of that gibberish in the middle because I want to call out what's important here. The next piece I want to look at, most markets rely on sellers offering their goods in exchange for money from buyers. With that in mind, I want to flip back to our order book. We just read that most markets rely on sellers offering their goods in exchange for money from buyers. If we look at the order book and we recall from the previous video, video, what do we have on the order book? We have a buy side and we have a sell side. The sell side is offering, in this case, Litecoin. Litecoin available for sale. That's the supply. If we look on the buy side, I mean, what are the buyers offering? They're offering money. That money could be anything of value. So in this case, it could be US dollars, it could be euros, it could be yen. It's that fiat. So the sellers are offering Litecoin for money and the buyers are offering money for Litecoin. Important thing that I want you to notice is that this economics definition of a market is really very similar to what the order book gives us. The order book gives us a market. So let's go ahead and check with the financial market definition to see what finance has for us. A financial market is a market in which people trade at prices that reflect supply and demand. The term market means the aggregate of possible buyers and sellers of a certain good and the transactions between them. And with this information in mind, I want to check back in with our order book and see how this relates. So we have seen that a financial market is a market in which people trade. That's a little restrictive. We know that in most markets today, we have bots trading. It's not just humans out there anymore. It's also bots. So we have to be aware of that. The second piece of information is at prices that reflect supply and demand. So the order book is showing us the supply and the demand at each price for Litecoin in our example. This definition is really saying the same thing that we saw before using different terms. In the economics definition, we use the terms buy and sell. Here, we use the terms demand and supply. These mean the same thing. So what economics and finance are telling us about a market, a market requires buyers and sellers. This is also known as supply and demand. If we have supply and demand, then we are on our way to having a market. And we know from previous videos that order books give us just that. In a sense, we can think of an order book as a building block of a market. Order books are the way that we organize the buyers and sellers. This is why we need to understand order books if we intend to trade in a market. The second part of the financial definition broadens the concept a bit. The term market means the aggregate of possible buyers and sellers of a certain good and the transactions between them. This tells us that in a market, we must consider the total, so all buyers and sellers. As an example, in the previous video, we saw the two order books for Ether priced in Bitcoin. One was on the GDAX exchange, the other was on the Bitrex exchange. Both of these order books help make the market in Ether. Like we said, building blocks. And there are many more ETH order books priced differently as well. In the previous case, we saw Bitcoin, but there's also order books for ETH priced in Litecoin, US dollar, Euro, and so on. The next part is the transactions. We want to include those within the concept of a market. The order book represents the supply and the demand. Anytime a market participant wants to interact with the order book, a transaction occurs, i.e. a trade occurs. These trades give us the historical price data that we see when we're looking at charts. When we look at the history of a price moving in a market, we're looking at the transactions that have occurred within that market for the given financial instrument that we're considering. With this working knowledge, we're ready to go ahead and give a definition for a market. A market is a collection of order books and the transactions that occur with respect to those order books. I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video, subscribe, and support this deep lizard channel. Thank you.